Okay, I've uh, cleaned up uh, all the parts I intend to prime today. You know, on the uh, left there is the U-bolt, uh, uh, well, whatever you want to call them, the U-bolt clamps. Center is the hubs and our, uh, well, they're kind of like an extension or a mount for the, uh, for the uh, lockout hubs. Knuckles here. Spindles and the uh, axle shafts. And uh, I've just degreased them all. Uh, I probably never mentioned before, but I'm actually using Southern Polyurethane's uh, epoxy uh, primer, and as well, I'm using uh, their uh, solvent based uh, wax and grease remover to uh, clean up all the parts. And the results have been pretty good. You know, you can see uh, that uh, paint is still holding up right now you know, after a whole week. <laughs> and. Uh, you know, the paint on the uh, frame is holding up quite well, and that's been over a year. That's probably been a year and a half. Kind of stopped working on this for a while there. Anyways, well, I'm going to let this uh, stuff dry up, and uh, then I'm going to, uh, well, I'm actually going to mix the epoxy right now. So, let's uh, mix, wait, spray one, wait, spray two, wait. After that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I still have a good part of the afternoon uh, left, I imagine, by that point. And uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So, I can't really do anything with my cab. That was the next thing I was thinking about working on, since I'm kind of stuck on the, uh, you know, the tranny transfer case issue. You know, and I still haven't found... I'm looking for a Dodge divorce transfer case now. And hopefully I'll find one. I put an ad up on uh, Kijiji. We'll see what happens with that, but if I don't find that, then I guess I'm going to uh, pick up the adapter kit from uh, from Advanced Adapters for this one, and I'm going to see if I can uh, pick up another transfer case, an NP205 this time. That was coupled to a TH350, so it simplifies things a bit. Anyways, we'll go from there. Okay, so two coats of uh, primer on... Uh, on uh, all these parts here and uh, the only parts that didn't get two coats were the uh, actual spindles and it's not really required you know like there it was really it en ended up being uh, you know it was just meant to be rust per uh, prevention I think they'll be fine I don't think it's gonna be a big deal anyways so no, I, I predictably uh, I'm at a loss for what to do next I can't really assemble the front axle until these parts dry so uh, you know when I got my engine or my transfer case issue that I'm trying to sort out and uh, you know, I'll find something to do okay well I'm waiting for uh, these to cure dry whatever you want to call it uh, I'm gonna operate on the assumption that uh, I am going to end up finding a divorce transfer case so I figured I'd prep one of the uh, spare uh, automatic transmission uh, cross members I've got and uh, set it in place where I uh, expect this transmission to sit you know given the position of the motor mounts for the engine and the transmission and I believe it should sit about 38 inches from center of the uh, motor mount hole to the uh, to the center of the uh, transmission mount hole so this is approximately where it's supposed to be. There are holes there that kind of match, but not quite. They're both drilled a little bit differently. So I'll have to drill some new holes, but I'm not too worried about that. In any case, hopefully uh, I get this stuff, uh, you know, uh, reassembled tomorrow. And then maybe what I might do is I might spend some time and prep this cross member. And I've got another cross member for a. Uh, uh, transfer case sitting over here that I hung on to luckily I was gonna scrap it with some when the old scrap pile went but uh, I'm glad I hung on to it and uh, I think it is gonna get cleaned up as well it's actually not in too bad a shape it just needs sandblasting it's a little bit of surface rust on it but uh, otherwise it's not too bad I'll have to add some sort of cross bracing between it between it and the uh, and the top section of the frame since this only has uh, goes on the uh, underside of the frame 
Uh, I'll add some bracing to the top section of the frame there as well with this one here. It's fairly strong. I'm, you know, reasonably happy with it. And since it won't be su supporting the weight of the end of the transmission, just the transfer case, I don't figure it'll be too big a deal. I think it's going to end up sitting, I think I measured it out where it would end up sitting, well, not that this means anything, but I could always just set it in place, I'm supposed to give you some idea, but hang on a sec. Okay, um, so this really doesn't mean anything, I was thinking about it. I wouldn't end up using this uh, transfer case cross member anyways, because uh, first of all, the uh, mounting bracket that it's meant for is one of the uh, ones for the adapter that typically goes between a uh, transfer case and the transmission so this is meaningless anyways but this is approximately where it would go on the frame relative to the transmission and the uh, engine cross member and uh, well if it does end up going there it's going to interfere with the exhaust uh, bracket so I'll probably end up just taking that off as well but remains to be seen I'll have to see when I finally do get my hands on uh, a proper transfer case how that's going to go now granted, bearing in mind of course that this cross member should actually be sitting underneath the frame so it should be sitting a lot lower. If you look at it this way it almost looks like there's going to be a clearance issue between the uh, uh, transmission cross member and the front drive shaft. Now everybody who's been using uh, divorce transfer cases recommended that if you're going to mount it, you mount it basically midway between the front and the rear uh, axles so that you'd have equal length uh, front and rear drive shafts that way if you break one you could uh, swap it around well presumably if you broke the rear one you'd swap the front one in from it uh, in any case uh, so there we go completely pointless exercise